I think this is my first video. Hmm. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm smiling because that's my first video, so it's kind of funny. I didn't know that they was going to be my first video. I didn't know my first video I would be wearing glasses, so it's okay. Well, maybe nobody will see my first video. It's been very interesting. It really has. I've done this Kundalini in I did this Kundalini in work. It was very interesting. It came from Bible study. So I was inspired and said with some very <laughs> heavy handed inspiration. Well it wouldn't necessarily be heavy handed because I didn't have to. Yeah, it didn't have to. So. I was inspired to uh, read the Bible. If I had a doctrine, it would be read the Bible from cover to cover. It's funny looking at my own self, talking, you know, it's kind of funny. I guess you get used to it. Like, And I guess if I get a real big screen or something, and my head would be real big, then I'd be like, it's a big head. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, okay. So I read the Bible. Once I read it, I was clueless, confused. The whole thing was uh, concepts I hadn't heard of before, just clueless. clueless. And when I say concepts I hadn't heard of before, heard of before I can tell you for example the iniquity of the fathers fall on the sons three four generations deep I think it means your grandfather or something could have done something the anger of the Lord of the Bible and, and your grandfather he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't get in trouble and your daddy he don't get in trouble you the one who catch him See, I'm trying to think of a nice way to put it, but first of all, I don't know what my grandfather may have done or may not have done. So, uh, and and I'm not gonna, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. Gonna, oh well, I'm sure I'm not sure of nothing. Okay, so let's just get that out the way. You know, I don't look, look, act <laughs> what another man does or has done. Is none of my business. See, I've learned how to be satisfied with minding my business. Not your business, my business. Now, you might decide to share some of your business with me. If it gets too overwhelming, I have no problem with trying to forget about everything that you've told me. See, I don't even need that popping into my mind every time I see you. You know, are there certain people out there that every time you see them, they remind you, seeing them reminds you of a situation or something like that? Yeah. Or did you see, you ever see, you ever run into somebody who, let's say you had a relationship with and you really like each other. It's all good. And then it just, you just, you just, you know, well, why did we, why did we break up? Why, why? And then they do something that, that reminds you of the reason why <laughs> you don't fool with them anymore. And you go like this. Oh, 
Right. That's why I don't fool with you anymore. I was slipping. So that's what's up. So I'm working on this book. That's what I said. Working on this book. Right, typing up these manuscripts, writing manuscripts, putting these thoughts down. <sighs> Trying to go from, see which way I want to go with the situation. Running in the roadblocks, stop signs. And really, the problem is not the stop signs and the roadblocks. The problem is me. Problems, man. Yep. Problem with me. You know. I'm not trying to put myself on this man's level. But let's say Einstein comes out with the theory of relativity. Oh, man. Oh, come on, man. It's what's happening. This, we're going to the stars with this. We're we going to start dealing on an atomic level with this. And then I tell you about it. And you, you look like, well, huh? <laughs> you go to a Scooby-Doo mode. Now, I feel funny <laughs> because of the way you're coming off about my theory. When really... If you weren't a physicist, I shouldn't have been talking to you anyway. I should have been in my lab doing my work. Publishing my papers where I'm supposed to publish them. You see, then, then, then that's one of the problems. The people in the world find out that there's information that's hidden from them. It's not that they want the information, most of them. They just don't like the fact that the information is hidden from them. So you you mean and so you you balance it off because what you do is you say okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're not gonna hide the books from them. We're gonna make a giant building called a library free. Come on in. And we gonna say the people you gonna pay for it, so it's your building. Come on in, and you can be as smart as you want to be, because you paid for this. That library, those books in there, you bought. So if you bought the books, wait a minute, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna get in the book front. See, there's people that front with books. There are people. There's there are people right now that have books that you would not believe it. They have books, so when you come in the house, you will be impressed and they ain't read a damn thing. <laughs> and you might see the book and say, oh, you might be on some heavy metaphysics or something. Oh, how did you enjoy this book? Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't read that. You say, can I look at it? It's sure. You open it up, pages they never been, they stuck together, they never, the book never been twerked, never, never been that's why I said twerp, twerp the book. Flip it. The book has never been twerped. Can you believe it? <sighs> Fronting or not. Buying up all the books. Don't know what's in <coughs> Excuse me. Since I guess we're breaking it on down. Well, we might as well go to the worst book front of, the, of, of them all that they have. The, the worst book front on the planet. The Christian book front. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. The Christian book front. I know somebody like that. Beautiful. I mean, he, he going, oh, I like that case. Seventy nine ninety five. Yeah. Fifty nine ninety five. And what about that you want to buy with these soft pages or the gold trim and all? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I ain't read nothing. 
I could say ain't read nothing. I know what I said ain't. Could have, I know I should have said they didn't read anything. No, ain't read nothing. That's the meaning of ain't read nothing. You know, what's black and white and red all over. Uh, not that book. Get it red or red the color. Get the blood. No, never mind. You think about it. Meditate on that. I didn't think the metaphysics series was going to start like this. But I guess this is how I do it, isn't it? Whew. I would have thought my time would have been up, you know. Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay. So, I was a little bit feeling funny because I was trying to do some promotions with my upcoming manuscript. I don't even want to call it a book. It's a manuscript. It's it's something that is my journal. My journal. Then maybe I'll change it to my journal. You see, and then I write down my ideas, and it's all good. I mean, it's like right now they found these ideas, these these, these journals. They found out that Einstein had these journals, and he's got these all kinds of theories and formulas, and it's like what? You see. Suppose in the middle of the journal, suppose he's writing, you know, E equals, I sure would like to get a chicken box right now, and an iced tea. Oh, anyway, E equals MC squared. And you gonna look, what? I wouldn't say anything. I just, oh, man, in the middle of doing the formula, Einstein was, he even wanted a chicken box. Wow. Here's the intellectual hate. I think I'm that that's a word. That that's a, I'm the phrase. I'm a Wikipedia that <laughs> intellectual hater. Because you don't know and you are aware of the fact that you don't know. You hate on somebody who knows because you know they had to put effort into their knowledge somehow. I mean, I've never heard of anybody just being born and they know physics all of a sudden. Maybe they do. Yeah, some people, some people, some people learn physics quicker than others. Some people are more interested in physics than other people. I think that your interest in physics might help you learn faster unless there's no connection in you in particular in reference to how you learn versus how how fast you learn because you might not learn at all but you might really like it and I, and I can really I can I can you know what I have an example of that I have an example of that now I I don't want to say what the example is but then if I don't say what the example is and I'm watching this video and I forget what the example is I'm talking about then I'm gonna say to myself why didn't you just say what the example is? It's not that big of a deal. Okay, okay. So when I wanted to learn martial arts, I was having a very hard time. I I just couldn't get it. I just could not understand. I couldn't understand what the martial arts was all about. I mean, I liked it. I, I'd been into it for years. I, you know, I had, Bruce, I had the Bruce Lee syndrome. I, I was into it. I just could not, uh, you know, like, you, you know, they use that in one of the sitcoms, and I just couldn't, uh, I just, uh, right. It wasn't until I got punched in the mouth and my mouth was bleeding in the tournament that I kind of, uh huh. Oh. This makes sense. See the drills we were doing, one man punch, one man block, you know block, you know blocky, you get punchy. I mean they were they were a prelude. They they were upcoming attractions to getting straight up banged in the mouth. <laughs> See they, if you all depends on what school you went to. See, or what, what you know. There's getting popped. 
That's one thing. You know. It's getting punched. And it's getting banged. Yeah. I, I, I got banged in the mouth. That's, that's, that, that's what happened to me. Mm. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I was so happy about it. I, I, I wasn't. I, I wasn't. I wasn't happy. And everything that happened after that was completely unexpected. And... I don't know what to tell you. It was unexpected and just strange. Sort of like in one of them kung fu movies. You know, the kung fu movie just the kung fu guy just he just can't he just he just you know. next thing you know when all of that comes together as one, it's not good. Somebody's going down. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, on that day, I understood, and they understood too. It was a pretty rugged day. Yeah, I became a legend on that day. No, that's for real though. True. I became a legend. I don't know. I might as well tell you. I became a legend. Uh, white belt division, Baltimore City, the Willie Benz Tournament. I'm the white belt champ. I'm Mr. Miyagi Karate Kid. <laughs> Against a group of dudes. Yeah. But all of them called a shellac. That's a legitimate karate term. Shellac. I call it a tour of the floor. But everybody went down to the floor. Everybody. Not, 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 there's no need to like sugarcoat it or nothing like that. They got punched or kicked and went to the floor falling with, with a plume of dust like that, waiting to get up to get some more beat down. That's just how it went. That's just how it went. And after I beat all of them up, then I got upset. <laughs> that was the funny part. I got upset after after I beat him up. Then I got upset. I was I, I was really mad. Damn, you talking about mad? Uh -huh. They're out here running around ruling with intimidation and all this. Now I done beat him up. Mm, mm, mm. And I was waiting to catch him again. Mm -hmm. That's another story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another story. Legend. That it. Yeah. So anyway. I think we were talking about how things come together and all like this. So I was having a kind of rough day. And I realized it's, it's my fault. It's my fault. Somebody said to me, say, you don't seem to sound like you're serious about this because, you know, it, it's, it's funny to you. Yeah, well, it's funny to me. It's, it's okay. I'm on that side of it. I can be on that side. Let's say, let's take physics again. I can be on that side of physics where if I say to you, Roy G. Bed is vib your backwards and start laughing, that's funny to me. See, what I just said was Roy G. Bed. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. It's VIP, you're backwards. So if that's what I need so that I can remember it's funny to me, I mean, you know, it's funny. So then you say, well, you can't be serious. Why not? That's your opinion. And if you feel that way, I'm sorry. Gentlemen, I gotta give him his credit, Dr. Sabi. He said in one of his lectures years, years, years ago, you try to tell somebody, they tell you, no, that's not how it is. You tell them again, they tell you, they insist that's not how it is. They are 100% right. You should not be talking to them. See, that's your fault. You shut up, stop running your mouth. <laughs> you talk too much. You're around the wrong people. They're not receptive to knowledge, information. 
because they never heard of it, it doesn't exist. What? Wow. Wow. And don't let their little egos get hurt like you can't be smarter than them. What? There are people that have put themselves in competition with you. you like, I'm not even competing with you. I don't care nothing about being smarter than you. You you and I, we're not competing. It's not like you ride your bike, I ride my bike. You might drive cars, I ride bikes. So why am I going to keep competing with you? That's stupid. Is my bicycle faster than your car? Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, well, your little bicycle, it, it, you know, is not faster than my car. What do you do? Press on the gas pedal? I got the pump these. So the relationship of, of how fast the bike goes goes for how fast I'm pumping it. But you, how far your foot goes to the floor don't mean nothing. It's no, it's, I mean, how much physical effort are you putting out by pressing that pedal to the floor? Come on. That's enough, man. Come on, man. <laughs> man, really? This, that's another one, too. See this? Come on, man. And it is really. Somebody say something. Really? And then there's, I mean, really. I mean, really? So, back to the top. I'm feeling down because somebody's making jokes about the subject matter of what I'm writing about. That's like this guy one time was making fun of my first book. And I guess the only, well I should say that, the word he decided to focus in on to make fun of was metaphysics. Out of all the other words, he could have picked. He picked metaphysics. You know, so we start going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Finally, I get tired of it. And I say, you do know that Aristotle wrote the book of metaphysics title of metaphysics. Slim, that means this guy. Slim says to me, who is our star? See, right there. See, 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 right there. See, see, see. No, right there. That is on me. Don't you know the classics? You don't know the classics? Ooh. I'm going to switch this and convert it into the biblical and take you the way I was trying to take it. So Jesus is there arguing or discussing or just saying with the Pharisees and Sadducees, Jews. Jesus is Jew too. So you got three different denominations of Jews arguing about the scriptures. Jesus says something about being the sons of God. No, you did not that you as the sons of God. They accuse him of blasphemy. What? Well, blasphemy. He turned around and say, what? Know ye not the scriptures? Y'all fronting on the scriptures? What he's saying is, y'all don't even know the scriptures? You you guys don't even know what the books say? And you the rabbi teachers? You the master teachers and don't know what the books are saying? What is going on up in this piece? Up in this piece. Up in here. What, 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 what's going on? That's what happened. I'm talking about information that is an ancient 
information that the rabbis had. I know the Judean name for the science and it's found under the what they call the tree of life the glyph the tree of life and the Kabbalah and it comes on up into the book of the revelation saying that what I'm really saying is you see the levels to this one could assume generally speaking that the pastor, reverend, whatever going to know more about the Bible which would imply that they know more about the Lord than a non-reverend or whatever well then there becomes an anomaly some dude like me <laughs> right which is really not an anomaly to me because if you have a 2000 year old problem I heard a piece of advice that Donald Trump had given one time on 60 Minutes. In this particular case, it will come down to, well, if you approach this pro a problem in this manner, you already know what the results are going to be. So you might as well just take another approach. If, if, if those approaches just don't work, they're not getting you the desired result. Don't, don't do it. What are you want? You run the same experiment that failed a hundred times? That's stupid. You should get the same result. A hundred failed results. Right. You change the experiment. Change the experiment. Change the experiment. Well, after you've done everything that appears to be rational, I guess you have to go to the irrational. Or just sit there and look stupid. Anyway. So their levels. It's my fault. Because I'm, yeah. You know, well, see, I didn't want my documents to be taken and hidden. Because that's what they do. I mean, they, they, when you write in the journals, they control the information. And there was some information that I wanted that I couldn't get to. And then come to find out at the end, they were hiding the Stella 55001 for 30 something years an Egyptian artifact which is the missing link behind the whole Kundalini knowledge and because they don't have it out then they put, didn't put it out there it's like uh, the, 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 the science was, is not complete we have the 6 steps but not the 7th and the 7th step is the first step because they hiding it for 30 years trying to figure it out. Psychopaths. But anyway. So, somebody who's just trying to understand whatever. I clearly should not be pushing my information on them. Well, this is where it's going to go. And this is how they look. Listen, listen they, they might not want to go that deep. You know, they might not want to go that deep. Therefore, and this will take some weight off for of me because punctuation and it, like someone told me you have run on sentences. You have run on sentences. I said I'm not writing in the English language. I'm converting my mathematical formulas or my formula into English. So I mean if 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 I had a mathematical formula 
that had 200 characters then my sentence is going to be 200 characters long because that's the formula but see see now how I'm getting all wound up no see you were right for telling me you you were 100 percent correct because I might not have been aware of the fact that I had run on sentences I was wrong for letting for 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 letting my information get to you or I should when you said you know you have run on sentences I should have said I'm sorry you're right and I, I, I'm sorry you had to deal with it and I have to tell you why because somebody who's seriously about the quest on the quest for knowledge a run on sentence get out of here beat it I'm reading old English middle English new English I, I, I'm, I'm reading roots and, 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 and adverbs and verbs and all of this here stuff I'm converting words into numbers. You talking about a run on sentence? Why don't you go run a red light or something? You know, it's just, it's just, who wants to stop something? I'm talking about something you don't know anything about. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Matter of fact, someone said to me today, were you trying to sell this? I said, you know what? That's on one side of the coin. That's on one side of the coin. That's on one side of the coin. On the other side of the coin, I'm just saying, it doesn't even matter to me. I mean, I like to sell some books. I like to let you chill. It doesn't even matter. Because I won. That's why I don't care. Because I won. That's it. End the story. Maybe you don't want to read the book about why this is how I won. Maybe you. Maybe there can't be two or three or five or ten or fifteen or twenty wins. I never said that. I don't know. Maybe you can win too. But I do know one thing. I won. So, in conclusion, if I'm going on too far at the highest level after I won about winning, then I'm sorry. And matter of fact, I should leave you with the field all to yourself so you can play. And that's how I'm feeling today. Let me see, what's the day? Just for the record, I guess, because I didn't say that. I was going to act like, well, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Thursday, March the 20th. Okay. So. It's my first video. I wonder if I'm going to put this out there. Tie not done. Wow. Uh, Slouching in the chair, sunlight on the side. I see all of that. So what? Later. Now I can figure out how to cut this thing out.